Today we learned that one man was killed in this large fire at a home in Chicago's Lawndale neighborhood. You see firefighters fighting it early this morning. A woman did just make it out in time here, but two police officers were injured trying to rescue a man that was trapped inside. NBC 5's Christian Farr has the story. Chicago fire officials say a mother and son were the victims of this intense fire. The mother was able to escape and is recovering here at Stroger Hospital. But her son, who has special needs, did not make it out alive. If anybody got, can get a word through, please pray for my nephew and my family. Joseph Johnson and his family are suffering after a fast-moving fire in Lawndale took his nephew's life and sent his sister to the hospital with some very serious injuries. He's a real sweet kid, you know, never get, never been in trouble. You know, he's autistic, you know, he, but he's a real sweet kid. And my sister, she was like a mother to everybody in the neighborhood. That fire broke out shortly after one this morning in the 1200 block of South Kedvale. Besides Chicago fire, two Chicago police officers also rushed to the neighborhood to help, but were both injured when they stepped on the front porch. They uh, got to the front door, were able to knock the front door in, but moments later, the uh, porch roof collapsed on the police officers. Both of those officers were taken to the hospital while fire crews did their best to put out the fire. Johnson's sister, 75-year-old Desi Street, was able to get out of the burning house. But her 37-year-old son, Carlos, who the family says his special needs, became trapped inside. There was some indication he might be in the back. So they started in the rear, started taking the building apart, got to the front, and found the remains on the first floor front uh, of the building. Don't know if he was trying to get out or not. The building's department had to bring in heavy equipment to take the house apart so fire crews could find the son. His mother is now in the hospital doing her best to recover. My sister right now, she's fighting for her life. They said she got bleeding on the brain. She's in surgery now. One of those injured Chicago police officers was treated and released from the hospital. The other one, we believe, is still recovering at the hospital. Because the house had to be taken apart, it might be difficult to figure out an exact cause. At Stroger, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Thanks to Christian.